Hey everyone, and welcome to our animated image rollovers demo. This is a new widget we have available on MuseThemes.com. My name is Steve Harris, and I'll just take you through how this widget works. So as you can see, we have four images here on the page, and when we mouse over one of the images, this really nice kind of stylish rollover effect comes into place. And so you can see that the background faded out and we have some text here. We have a title and then we have a body text or description and then a button. So all of these uh, overlays have a similar format, but of course you can customize this text and all the styles associated. So we've got four unique uh, animation styles. We've got rotate, slide, and then this is zoom, which is kind of slightly zooms in on the image and then just a subtle fade as well. So let me take you through how this widget works and we'll jump into Muse here. I'm using the new 2014.2 version. And let's go to our library panel and to the Muse Themes toolbox and scroll down to number 39, Animated Image Rollovers, and drag that out on the page. So when you drag this out on the page, you can see that we have a decent sized panel, nothing too crazy here. And what we need to do is we need to start by adding the images for upload that we're going to use within this widget. So I've gone ahead and set up four images ahead of time. You can see that um, I have four images here called rollover one, two, three, and four. And I made them all about 400 by 300 pixels, but you can make them any size. Our widget will actually scale them down automatically for you. So let's use these four. So we'll go file and add files for upload. And then let's go to that location and select rollovers one to four and click open. So now those assets are going to be in our assets panel and they'll upload with our site. So the next thing we need to do is let's open up the flyout panel here and we need to select our rollover style first to start. So those were the four styles I showed you on the browser demo before. Let's just leave it with rotate for now. And then in here, image name is where we need to put the name of those images we just uploaded. So let's go rollover1.png, perfect. So with just that in place, we should be able to preview this in the browser. And as you can see, the overlay comes in and everything works perfectly right off, right off the bat. So let's go ahead and style this widget a little bit more. We've got the overlay color, which is the background color. And so right now this is set to a gray and we could set this to something like black. And then we've got the overlay opacity. So this is of course a percentage. So right now we have 60%, but we could go up to 0.8, which would be about 80%. And let's have a look at that now. There, so as you can see, the background now is much darker and the image doesn't quite show through as much. That's because we changed those opacity settings. The next section we have is the input areas for actually changing the text. So right now we have title text and it says enter your title here. So you might want to use this to caption, um, you know, links to your portfolio. So we could do something like portfolio and web design. Let's just set the title size at maybe 28. We'll leave the color at this orange. Actually, let's change it to blue and the font. So you just need to type the font name in here. Um, let's try something like Open Sans. Okay, and we'll preview that again. So there you can see that the title font has changed and this is what we've put in that input box. And actually you can stop these animations. They're quite responsive. So if, as you mouse on and off of the image, the animation does stop and come back and that sort of thing. So let's continue on. I'm going to shrink this title size down a little bit. I thought that was kind of big. And now we've got the body text. This is, of course, the area where you have a little bit of a description about your portfolio or whatever your whatever this caption is. I'm going to leave it as is for now. And then, of course, we can change that text size, that text color, and then the font again. So let's just make it match, open sans. Okay. So the last thing we have to control is the button options, and this will allow you to change what's in that button. So you might not want it to say learn more, you might want it to say something like view projects. And then of course we can change all of the colors. So I'm going to leave, or let's change the text color to orange. And then the overlay, I'm gonna set that to black. That's just the color of the button itself. Now the overlay text color, sorry, the overlay options are for when you roll over the button itself. So the overlay color now is going to be black. And let's set the overlay text color to blue. Okay. Now we can set the button text size, of course, the border color, which we'll just, let's set this to orange as well. 
And now we can change the font. Well, let's do Open Sans. And then the last two options here we have are the URL. So this is where you want this button to link. So if you're going to have it link to a page within your site, you can just structure it like this, about.html. So I'm gonna put in about.html in there. And in my plan view of my site, I'm just gonna make a page called about. Okay, and now let's test this to see if it works. So I have this going to about.html. It's gonna open in the same tab. And let's preview the site in the browser. Okay, so when I mouse over it here, you can see that all the styling is applied and our buttons as we made it. Now if we click on that, you can see that it just went to the about page on our website. Of course, we don't have anything on this page to show. It's just a blank page for now, but it's just that easy to link to pages internally within your website. So just make sure you put the .html after the page name there. And then as I uh, mentioned here before, we just have the link target, which allows you to open a link in a new tab or within the same tab. So you may want to have external links to other sites open in a new tab. So that's it. That's how this widget works. It's uh, really quite clever too. As you scale this box down, what the widget will do is measure the width of the image and it's just going to kind of cap the height at the perfect aspect ratio. So if I preview this in the browser, you can see that the image didn't stretch or distort or anything like that. Now obviously with this we've made the image too small for our text sizes. So if you're going to use a box that that's that small, Let's drop our title down to, let's say 18 for testing purposes, and then we'll drop our text size down to about 10. And let's see how this looks. There, so you can see it fits much, much better now. And of course, we'd probably drop the size of this button as well. So that is the animated image rollovers widget. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or concerns with this and enjoy. Thanks again.